that tries to put a move on number four, Liz Crumberland. She will find Kennedy Dura wide open outside, and she will knock that one down. Like you expect to see time and time again, she's not going to miss too many of those. Back to Dooley. That one tipped out, but Dooley able to corral it. Back to Kerrigan. To Kennedy Dura, who the nice touch pass to Ashley Harfson. She will put it in with contact. She will go to the line for one, try to convert the and one right there. Ashley Harfs has the ball left side. She will work against Peterson. Now Kennedy Dura with another three. That one good with Fink's hand in her face. To the right wing and she will get it stopped. Find an open Harfs top of the key. She will put that one up and good. Like James and I have talked about, they will take advantage of those. You cannot give this Red Devil squad that kind of space on the three-point arc. By Harfs. As now Dooley will kick it out to Sarns. Sarns thinks about the three. She will take one step, pull up, and that one is good. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Sam Sarns. Harfs cutting to the right side. Renault will find her right back to Renault. Great give and go right there. That three is up and good for Haley Renault. Mason Pavia perhaps gave her a little bit of space, but Renault definitely recovering. As right there on cue, she will put up the three from the top of the key and knock that one down. Renault doing a good job of defending that as Mason Pavia tries to drive left, put up the finger roll. No good. Another charge taken by Ashley Harvest. Mason Pavia. As now they will look to work two on two as she will attempt to get to the basket, poked away by Harvest, recovered by Kerrigan Dura. As now Kennedy Dura has the ball down low to Samantha Sarns for to a great look there. Yeah, this team certainly one that's not going to lack in hustle as another offensive rebound here. And Haley Renault will put this three up. That one good with the hand in her face from Mason Pavia. Push the ball wide right side to Kennedy Dura. She will think about it, give the ball up top to Sarns. Sarns a little bit of space. She will decide to throw it up. That one is good as Sarns is just seeing a swimming pool right now for the basket. That ball tipped away, but back to Kennedy Dura and now Lexi Dooley has the ball. Lexi Dooley left side, two Harfs. Harfs with some space for three, that three up, and good again. This Eureka College team just shooting the lights out right now. Kerrigan Dura will look to inbound the ball as she founds Kennedy Dura cutting on the right side on the block, no good, rebounded by Dura. She will give it to Kerrigan with the dime to Haley Renault. That one up and good. That'll be an and one opportunity for Haley Renault. Kerrigan Dura, great court vision. Just fantastic bounce pass there to Renault in motion puts it up and in. There to Harfst, the extra swing pass to Sarns, but it is rebounded by Dooley after there's no good. Ellie Broyles, three is up and good. From the top of the key, Lexi Dooley, great job getting that pass out after hitting the floor. And Ellie Broyles knocking it down, pushing the lead to 30 here for the Red Devils. Side, she will find Broyles wide open on the wing as she will put up the three, and that one good from the left wing. A little bit of momentum here towards the end of the contest as Renault will drive baseline, find a wide open Sam Sarns on the left side as she will knock it down. Sis for Renault, Sam Sarns continues to have the hot hand here. A big win here at home for Eureka. Looking to stay in first place here, winning that one 96-71 here over the McMurray Highlanders. Great job here from start to finish. Getting the lead in keeping it the entirety of this contest.